From the openness of my heart, I offer these words in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today, in the fourth Sunday of Advent, it is all about Mary. It is our wonderful, familiar story of what we call the Annunciation, or the inbreaking of God's holy reign in a brand new way, because Mary was able to say yes to God. And in order for Mary to say yes to God, to be receptive, to hear, or to sense, or understand this radiance that came upon her, we know that Mary must have been hallowed out or open or receptive to God's presence and God's request. Not all of us are that all of the time. There are times when we are closed up, when we no longer attend to the permeability, the reciprocity in our relationship with God. There are times when we say, I just don't want to do it, or I'm too busy to even think about it. Or probably more often I hear, I'm too afraid to. Because like Mary, God has asked each one of us to do something big, to bring in the kingdom of God. Because during Jesus' life, death, resurrection, and ascension, our redemption has been taken care of for us. There is an inbreaking of love in this world now that could never have been imagined had it not been for the resurrection of Jesus. And so we, our work now is how do we love, live into it and how do we love into it is really how best to look at that. And so I want us to explore for just a moment this sense of relationship. You know, in our first reading from Samuel, there was this conversation about, I need to build God a house, a house made out of cedars. And, you know, so there's often this sense that because we feel graced and feel because we feel blessed, we want to give back so that God is often providing to us and we may want to provide to God. And so there's this wonderful sense of attending to a relationship where we receive from and we offer to or we provide. So often it goes like this, you know, God loves us, therefore we can love God. Or God loves us and therefore we can love each other. Or God showers us with blessings and therefore we can shower other people with blessings. And our praise and our thanksgiving and our songs, the joyful ones like the Magnificat of Mary's song of joy, that is often a way that we are providing blessing to God. So we talk about this relationship, this give and take, this openness on all parts to be able to live into a real relationship. And so maybe it's Mary and maybe it's the Annunciation and maybe it's the idea of a womb, but I was really drawn as I was thinking about our story today to this globe that my sister gave me. And I don't really quite remember where she got it or the story behind it, except that I know it's hand blown glass and it's covered with like tissue paper and it has these wonderful designs. And I had to purposely find a place today inside that isn't flooded by light. Uh, but anyway, so you may not be able to see it, but when you look in it, you can kind of see that there might be a light inside. And so if we look at this as our soul and we think about that light that is inside, of course, that's the light of Christ. That's the spark that makes our life worth living. And so, but sometimes we can imagine because we're so busy or we're so distraught or we're so whatever, that this area at top is closed and we can't see then so much the light that comes can come out or even the light that is within it actually can grow dimmer the less we pay attention to it and so if we really attend to this relationship and we draw it like this so that we can see there's this wide opening, this, this area where we can see the love and light passing through so that God can provide for us. We can receive the grace, but that we can also shine that grace out into the world. So I think there's something really beautiful about this, about how we need to, and what our spiritual work is to really hallow ourselves or make hollow, that we often have to get rid of stuff within us in order to be able to be filled up with God. 
you know, some of us have been talking and talking about Christmas and how different, of course, it is this year. And in some ways, it is more meaningful. In some ways, it is simpler. It is less chaotic, less demanding, less commercial, and more about settling into the presence. So I want to tell you about what spiritual practice is actually hallowing me out, is making room within me this Advent. We had a clergy call with our uh, bishop today, and she said to us, so how are you praying? What are you, how are you praying? What are you doing? How is this working for you? And what I realized yesterday, it was this marvelous revelation, and I don't know that I exactly had the words right yet to talk about it with you, but what I was very clear of is that this, unlike other Christmases, the Christmas blessings, the gifts of joy and grace and just a solid sense of awe have been unfolding to me through Advent. So whereas I would often wait until the big day of Christmas and we'd have our Christmas Eve service and my family would arrive and everything was packaged up tightly together in 24 hours this way, because I've experienced it partly by making the videos and preparing for sending things out to our children, I have seen the blessing of so many of you offering so much, whether it is your voice that you are offering to us in our 12 carols of Christmas or these beautiful, most glittered stars I've ever seen in all my life that Aiden did for us so that the children who receive our Christmas boxes will have a beautiful star to put on top of their own manger or their own tree. I've seen people step up to help out with the Head Start family. I've, over and over and over again, I see people stretching and giving and hallowing out of whatever else might have preoccupied their lives to say this, this is what actually matters. And every time I see one of your blessings of kindness and generosity and hopefulness, it hallows out in me a space to receive God ever more deeply. And with each time I receive God ever more deeply and my yes gets expanded and grows into something marvelous, I know that I too am providing to God by opening this space for God's love to break out. And so as we hold Mary in our hearts this week, as we think about this relationship of what we will receive as we celebrate Christmas and what needs to happen within us so we can receive it in a way ever more fully, I pray that you will, you will live into those moments and find your own blessings or your own prayer life as you walk through this last week preparing for the inbreaking of love all over again in our hearts. May Christ be with you now and always.